two minutes. Not no longer. Hello, my name is Ronald Long, and I have a story to tell you. Um, I had a good upbringing. Both parents in the household, they both went to school. You know, they raised myself and my three and my two sisters. And I, I made a bad decision in my life, which led me to prison, you know, and I shocked a whole lot of people. But I want to say this one thing. I would not trade that experience in for nothing in the world. I was a college student as well, but that experience has made me the man that I am today because it allowed me the opportunity to sit down, reflect on my life, and see how did I end up here when there are plenty others whose you know, situation growing up was way worse than mine. How did I, of all people, end up here? And it was my choices. It was my way of thinking. And time allowed me the opportunity to, to think, reflect on my situation, see where I was at, realize where I am now and the things I need to do to get to where I want to be. You know, and since I've come home, I have done everything I can to help restore, renew, and rebuild my community, which I was a, a part of tearing down. I did 10 years federal prison time for armed robbery, for robbing a bank. But um, I want to say this about my experience. I would not wish it on my worst enemy, but at the same time, like I said before, I wouldn't trade it in for anything in the world. And it's one thing I want to give to young black men out of my situation is that um, no matter what you going through in life, always try to remember it's someone else in a worse condition than yours. And take this with you everywhere that you go. No struggle, no progress. And through struggle comes progress. And that is what's helped me get along since my return to society. Yes, it's been hard. It's been hard. But I will never revert back to what I did in order to go to prison. I'm doing any and everything I can to help, especially our young black men and women. Because they both need guidance. They just need someone to listen to them. Someone who understands what, what they're going through. And even if you don't understand Get them an ear because you may have some advice to help them along their journey in life. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I'm getting teary-eyed.